Hello, Zwantje. How are you? Hello, Jinske. I'm fine, yes. Although the weather is getting bad and we are in uh, waiting for winter, but we are. Uh, I'm fine, yeah. Good. I, I absolutely understand what you're saying. It's completely dark already where I am. Yeah, right. Yes, right. I put on an extra light, hope you can see me, but it is about you. Yeah. And I'm very happy to see you because you will, for House of Voice, give us a wonderful masterclass. And I know you, and like I know many teachers, but you've given it the wonderful title from sound to word to phrases to text. And I'm right. curious, what is it about this masterclass? Yes. Well, it uh, started with an own investigation, which is still not ready. I think it will take a lifetime. But the question is, when does a sound become a word? Does a sound have to become a word? Can we also speak with only sounds? But because we are living in a, in a world of words and uh, stories and narratives. And so um, I'm looking uh, for in a sentence, what is the sound of it? even without, at first, without the meaning. Is the meaning clear if it's only sounds? So, yeah, it's a bit mystical. It's a bit, uh, it's an, it, it's, uh, I notice that if I work with people who work a lot with texts or have to do lectures or uh, lessons, teachers, um, university people, but also artists who have to do theater texts, uh, storytellers. It is often so much on the meaning of the words that they forget to enjoy the sound of what they are saying. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, because it, it for me, it is a song. It, 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 under, underneath the, the spoken text is a rhythm, is a melody. And if you can get that, I think uh, the audience, uh, the one who is opposite of you, has more ways to understand you. And I think unconsciously we do it all the time. But um, I think babies do it without hearing words. They, they know exactly without the words what, they're, what it is about and if they should cry or laugh. You know, so, yeah. I think so too. Wonderful. I really love how you're looking at this. And you mentioned uh, artists, but also people who give lectures. So yes. I was wondering what kind of people could participate because it also, I can also understand it's very artistic. Maybe it's for a really good the theater text or a poem or spoken word, but what kind of people could join? I think really everyone uh, who knows or is based in a language. It doesn't need to be Dutch. It can actually be other languages. But as long as you are a speaking, a speaking creature, mm -hmm. you are a storytelling teacher, a uh, creature. We all tell stories about ourselves. So I really think everyone is welcome. And it. I always work very much with the person itself. So if I see, oh, wait a minute, there is a, a mother of uh, children in the in the group and there is an artist who works with theater and is performing. Oh, and there is also someone who never spoke before, uh, mm -hmm. who, who has really fear of speaking. I think, I think, yeah, well, actually I'm sure that my experience in teaching is it that way that I think I will we will all find an entrance to where the 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 sounds the the words the flow of the text is um, getting consciousness get getting to consciousness for ourselves you know that yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. so I I like to work with very different people because we yes. all can learn from each other yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. 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 I know your work and I know how you work. And I really see you always find a way with people. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I underline that. And although you come from an artistic background, it is really for everybody. It's really a human voice. Yeah. Um, that I have when I know what work you do. Um, can you maybe tell a little bit about, you know, if I would join and I don't know how you work or I'm not experienced with it, how do we go about in this masterclass? Because it's two days and I yeah. might bring a text or how? what do we do? Um, you know, I never know exactly, but mostly it is um, about finding your voice at the beginning. You know, it's a... Uh, but I won't say, come on, let's hear your voice. I mean, I will <laughs> to say it <laughs> in the bad way. I'm a very good manipulator <laughs> to, to, to manipulate you to a point that it is very natural. Or I can say it more spiritual. Um, mm. We connect with where the, and this is very spiritual, where the soul wants to sound and wants to be heard that sounds lovely yes yeah and i think uh, and therefore um it it needs me looking at you and um guessing oh maybe that's someone who likes to dance oh maybe no 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 it's someone who's really a thinker he, it's an, uh, someone who analyzes things or oh, i have to find the 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 key the doorway and then I can invite that pe that person from. Hey, uh, you think a lot about things, huh? Can you tell me what's what? What are you thinking at the moment? Is there one word that is really ah. very important? Mm -hmm. What is it? What's, what what mm -hmm. trickles you now? What tickles you? Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. Or you know, it's um, what did I do in the last workshop with the storytelling? It it was. I just did some sounds and to, uh, let people speak because then they don't already have a sound when you are in pairs and you tell a bit about um, what you had for breakfast yeah, or okay. what's your goal in life. I mean, uh, it can be between those things. Then you are already speaking and yeah. then the other person can already have an idea, an image of where you are at that moment. That sounds really lovely, yes. And I recognize what you're saying, what it is like working with you. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for yeah. that. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing your masterclass. And um, I just want to say bye for now, Svanke.